Hello, Worship Ministries people. I've got some exciting news to share with you, and I hope that you'll find this to be some great stuff. God's been moving in all of our hearts over the past few months, and He's been working in your pastors, bringing to our attention some areas where we can do a better job of aligning with His will and His purpose and His mission. One of our core values that I've been very proud of over the years says that we are a multi-generational church. Well, God has revealed to us that it's time to clarify that value. Psalm 145 says, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall commend your works to another, and shall declare your mighty acts. In light of what God is showing us, our desire is to be not just a multi-generational church, but to be an intergenerational church. We want every generation not only to be represented, but to be present and mixed and in communication and fellowship with each other. So to that end, we're excited to share with you a decision that we've prayed over, studied about, and discussed for several months. Beginning on Sunday, October the 3rd, we are going to make a move to bring our entire intergenerational church body together for one unified worship service every weekend. All of our pastors have prayed and discussed this idea for several months, like I said. Our deacon body is on board and they're excited about it. And now we're sharing this plan with our key leaders. So I'm sharing it with you because you are one of those key leaders. You're highly invested in our worship ministries and you play an important role as a worship leader here at Waterloo. And we're going to announce the change to our entire church family this weekend on Sunday, uh, but we wanted you to know first. Now we are tweaking our Sunday morning schedule slightly in order to make all this happen. And that leads me to another very important announcement. Coffee and donuts are coming back. <laughs> Hallelujah, right? So here's how Sunday mornings are going to flow. At 9 o'clock, we will have donuts and great coffee. That is going to be upgraded coffee. At 9.15, we'll break and I'll go to Sunday school. And then at 10.30, we'll all come together for one corporate worship service. So I know that you have more questions. I know that you're going to want to know more details. So I'm going to try to give you some answers, as best I know for now, um, that are pertinent to you and your area of ministry. So the next part of these videos will have a little bit different content for each of our various worship teams. So as we make this move to one unified worship service every Sunday morning, here's some details that you'll want to know as one of our awesome scripture proclaimers. First of all, this is going to be a really cool opportunity for you to get to start proclaiming scripture with the crew from the other service. So folks that you may not have gotten to see very often over the last several years, you'll get to proclaim scriptures together with them. One other change that I'm trying to make um, is to dramatize one or more of our scriptures um, probably once a month or so. So we'll be using our actors, our drama group, uh, to memorize and work up some dramatic tellings of, of a scripture reading here and there. And of course, you can be a part of that if you'd like. Just let me know and we will get you hooked up with Miss Joetta. Um, but uh, but those are, those are the, the changes that will affect you as one of our scripture proclaimers. Well, I hope you can tell I am super excited about the prospect of having our whole church together every Sunday morning. This is going to be a lot of fun. And I need you to hear me say thank you for being a big, big part of the worship ministries here at Waterloo. I'm truly grateful for your leadership, and I appreciate your effort. I understand what it takes to be a part of this. Now, I would ask that you would please keep me and your other pastors and yourself in prayer while we make this move. Please pray that God will keep all of our minds open and focused on His will for us. Pray that each of us will follow God's command to prefer one another in love and to shift our focus away from being spiritual consumers and toward being spirit and truth worshipers. I love you guys. I truly love you. It's my life's joy to lead you and to serve God and our community alongside of you. 
So reach out to me if you have any questions or ideas for me. Be blessed, be awesome, and we'll see you Sunday. So love the world.